In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the blur effect in the hint film for Express Video Editor. So the first thing I'm going to go and do is go to the effects tab over here. Then I'm going to go to the blurs uh, folder over here. Go ahead and select um, the blur uh, effect over here. I'm going to left click, hold, and uh, let, let it go onto the video clip over here. And you can immediately notice that this panda became a lot blurrier. If I left click um, this uh, check mark over here, you notice the blur to go away. Without the blur, this is how the video clip looks. And so with the blur effect, you can do. Uh, you have a couple of options for controlling the blur. I'm gonna enable the blur, left clicking the check box, and you have a radius option and an iteration options. Radius option I like to think is if you want to make for a big change or if you want to um, add a big amount of blur. And iteration I like to think that um, you know if you want to uh, tweak the, by small amounts the, the amount of blur to, to your video. So I'll go ahead and show you what happens if I increase the radius. Uh, if I increase the radius you see that if I just increase it just a small amount over here it gets extremely blurry. And I'll hit Control Z to undo that blur. If I um, if I change the iterations, even if I change it by a lot, it only um, increments the amount of blur by a small amount. So hit Control Z to undo that. The next option you have is by dimension. If you want um, if you want it both by horizontal and vertical dimensions, it looks like this. If you want only a horizontal blur, it only uh, blurs it horizontally. And if you want a vertical blur, you'll notice that it only uh, blurs it vertically, like so. And then finally you have something called the clamp to edges. What this is, it basically if you have like an object, a small object, and it blurs outside that um, like box, it kind of, um, it crops it. Well, this is basically cropping it. I can show you later what this does if you want. And so I'm gonna control Z that, and um, I see. Uh, change this back to horizontal and vertical. Now I'll show you how to make a cool effect with this uh, blur effect, which is like an intro. With um, I'll just go ahead and show you. And so this is uh, right now. I'm gonna um, uh, let's see. I'm gonna delete this effect. I'm gonna left click this clip and make a composite shot, and um, enable these options and hit the OK button. And so over here, if you left click this carrot, you'll notice there's no effects right now. I want to add the blur effect um, to this uh, clip. You left click, hold, and drag this blur effect to the effects um, tab over here. Now you have the blur effect enabled. But at, uh, So at the start of the clip, this is how much blur we have. What I want, with, uh, want to do with this uh, video clip is uh, slowly like kind of focus in. So at the start of the video, we want, we want the radius to be like a big number, like I don't know, 50. Something like that's fine. And it's really blurry. And then maybe at the at, by one minute of the video, not one minute, but one second of the video, we want there to be zero blur. So you, you type in zero where where it says blur radius, and you hit the enter key. And there you go. You see it's crisp and clear. If I uh, drag this back to the starting point and play the video, this is how it looks. And so uh, just by this uh, simple tweak, you can make a really nice um, kind of outro or intro with this blur effect. It depends on how you want to use it. And uh, that's all there is to it. Thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to make any particular tutorial, go ahead and recommend them in the comments. Bye.